Today I've got a short unboxing of an MSI motherboard. This is the P67A C43, so it's very similar to the C45, except for a couple small things. And that couple small things is pretty much one small thing. It doesn't have uh, as many USB 3.0 ports. So we're going to go through the overall feature of this board. This is an 1155 board, which means you've got support for Intel Core i3, Core i5, and Core i7 processors on the uh, of the second generation variety. So only 1155 chips. Don't try to use an 1156 chip in here. It will not work. So we're talking 2500K will work. 2600K will work. 875K will not work. Okay, it features the military class 2 concept with super ferrite chokes, solid caps. It's got OC Genie 2 for one touch overclocking of K series processors as well as a UEFI click BIOS. Let's flip this over. It features a three year warranty in the USA and Canada. And, oh, okay, there's nothing under there, cat. Let's see what else they have to say for themselves. We've got Winky3, which is their software that allows you to chat with friends, maintain hard drive data, edit docs and photos without any OS, and you can also surf the internet. And that's pretty much it for the back of the box. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's open this guy up and have a look-see. Ooh, this is interesting. Huh. Fascinating cable. Okay, well, we'll talk about that in a minute. First, we've got our drivers and utilities DVD. Throw it away. Download the latest off the MSI website. Here is a quick installation guide. You might need that if you want to install it quickly. Software application user guide. Actual motherboard user guide. Ooh, color inside uh, uh, inside cover. That, whoa, is that a, what board is that? Oh, that is an X58 board. Okay, that's not a popular X58 board anymore. That's their Eclipse. Very old, very discontinued. It's okay. All right, we've got a couple SATA cables, one right angle, one straight. We've got some M connectors. These are for easily connecting your front panel connectors. We've got an IO shield, which is, yeah, look at that, color-coded. Very nice, very, very, very nice. All right, and we've got what appears to be a USB 3 header to... USB 2 mail header, so you can, if I can get it to focus, you'll be able to see the pins on this thing. So if you want to turn your internal USB 3.0 header into an internal USB 2.0 header, you could do that if you wanted. Okay, so let's grab the board itself. I'm just going to close the box real quick here so we can see what we're doing. Tape off. Oh, come on. Ah, there you go. You can cooperate, Mr. Baggy. And here is the board itself. So it looks very similar to its, uh, well, very similar brother, the P. Wait, hold on just a darn moment. Oh, okay, I get it. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here is the difference. So, see that NEC chip there? There's some other board components around it that are, see here? This guy right here, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna turn my manual focus off. Actually, no, that's fine. Not present, here. So this is a USB 2 header. See how it's color-coded black? And see how it's color-coded blue on the other board? And it's called well, here it's called USB 3 inside, see, USB 3.0. Here it is not called any such thing because, and now I'm going to turn my manual focus off, the C43 only features, come on, focus, manual focus is off. Uh-oh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, manual focus is off now. Okay, so because this board only features two USB 3.0 ports. That's why I got confused as soon as I saw the USB 3.0 ports on the back and I saw a header here, I was like, well, how does this work? It only has two ports because this is a USB 2.0 header. But rather than redesigning the PCB, they just haven't included the USB 3 chipset here, the NEC chipset we saw on the higher end board. And that is why it has this funky adapter because now this is a USB 2.0 header. So there's another USB 2.0 header for a total of two. Okay. 
So the overall layout of the, this board is very similar. We've got our LGA 1155 socket right here in the middle. We've got lots of room around it. You can see this lower end board also doesn't include the heat sinks around the CPU area that are cooling. So you can see the outlines for where they would normally belong that are cooling the voltage regulation modules. We have an eight pin power connector up here in the top left as well as support for four sticks of DDR3 running in dual channel. Our 24 pin power is along the right hand edge of the board in its optimal location. And moving down, we have full support for SATA 3, six gigabit per second running off of the Intel chipset. Come on, focus, there you go. As well as four SATA 2, three gigabit per second ports. Here is the heatsink for the Intel chipset itself. And continuing to move down the board, we have all of our front panel connectors our USB 2.0 header that I have now talked about endlessly and we've also got front no front firewire which the other board did have we have no rear firewire either for that matter but we'll get to that in a moment and we also have our front panel audio connector now in terms of the slot layout it is the same as its big brother so we have three PCIe 1X, one PCIe 16X, and three PCI slots. So if you were to install a dual slot graphics card in the PCIe 16X slot, then you would still have access to two PCIe 1X and three PCI slots. So on a lower end board, that's what I would consider optimal because most people are gonna be carrying over their PCI add-in cards when they're not buying like a super expensive motherboard. All right, here we go. So we got a PS2 US, PS2. Uh, yes, it is PS2, but it's not US anything. It's a PS2 keyboard mouse combo port. We've got eight USB 2.0 ports. It's still got the clear CMOS button. Very nice, very handy for, this looks like a good budget overclocking board with that clear CMOS on the back. We've got uh, coaxial audio out, optical audio out, gigabit ethernet, USB 3.0 and 7.1 audio. Nothing really interesting to speak of on the back. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the P67A C43. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.